Hi there. Now in this question, we're given that a company which is making 200 mobile phones each week plans to increase its production. And the number of mobile phones produced is to be increased by 20 each week, from 200 in week 1 to 220 in week 2 to 240 in week 3, and so on, until it is producing 600 in week n. And in the first part, we've got to find the value of n. So I'll just give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at that one. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, what we've got here is an arithmetic progression because for an arithmetic progression, we would expect our values to go up in equal steps. And you can see that what's happening is that our terms here in this sequence are going up in steps of 20. We've got our first week here, second week, third week, all the way down to our nth week. And we've got to find out what n is then. Now to do something like this, you've got to be familiar with finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. And just as a quick reminder, if you've got an arithmetic sequence where the first term is a and the common difference is d, then the nth term is given by a plus n minus 1 times d. So for this, the nth term is 600. So using that formula, we can say that therefore 600 must be equal to the first term, which was 200, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Well, n minus 1 times the common difference, and the common difference is it's going up in steps of 20. So it's multiplied by 20. So it's just a question of solving this equation. So what I'm going to do is expand out the bracket. We're going to have 20 times n, so that's plus 20n, and then 20 times minus 1 is minus 20. And if I do 200 minus 20, that's 180. Subtract that from both sides. I therefore get 420. 600 minus 180 is 420. That equals 20n. And then I can divide both sides by 20, and that gives me n equals 420 divided by 20, which is 21. OK, so that's that part. Moving on to the next part, part B, it says the company then plans to continue to make 600 mobile phones each week. And we've got to find the total number of mobile phones that will be made in the first 52 weeks, starting from and including week one. So again, if you'd like to pause the video at this stage, if you haven't had a go, just give you a moment to do that. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for part B then, OK, what we've got to do to find that total, let's just put it down, total equals, well, we've got the sum, we've got to add these up for the first 21 weeks, n being 21. So we've got to do, first of all, S n in general, okay? Sn for an arithmetic progression, okay? There's two formulas out there. You could use Sn equals n over 2 multiplied by twice the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference, okay? Or, this is the one I would prefer for this example, Sn equals n over 2 multiply by the first term plus the last term. So it's totally up to you which one of these that you use, but I'm going to go for that last one. So I just border that off there, okay? So these are formulas that you should try and remember, although generally most formula books carry these. So we're looking then to work out the sum of the first 21 weeks, but then we've got to be careful here because we've got the 22nd week, which we're going to produce 600 mobile phones, 
the 23rd week, 600, and so on, all the way up to 52. So we're going from the 22nd week to the 52nd week. Okay, let's just put that down here. The 22nd, okay, to the 52nd week. So how many weeks would that be? Well, it's not a question of just taking 22 away from 52, which would give us 30. There's going to be one extra week. Imagine if it was 22nd week to the 23rd week. You'd have two weeks there. But doing 22 away from 23 just gives us one. So you always have to add one. So always take care there. So it's going to be 31 weeks in this interval. So we've got to add to this 600 multiplied by 31. So it's just a question now of just filling our values in. So for S21, using this version here, it's going to be 21 over 2, okay, multiplied by A plus L, the first term, which was 200, plus the last term, which was 600. So I'll just write 200 plus 600 there, okay? And then we've got plus 600 then, times 31. And if you work this out, you end up with 27,000. Okay?